Okay, so what we're looking here, your posture is very good. You can have a little bit more knee flex, you're a little bit upright. So as we're coming back with the shoulders, good takeaway. See the gap? You're just lifting that. If you could roll the ankle instead of lifting the, uh -huh. the heel off the ground, less moving parts the better. You don't have any back issues? No. So if you can just roll that ankle, it's just one more move. It's a timing thing. Yeah, yeah, right. You can do it if you want, but it's just the less moving parts, the more consistent you'll be. And then the hands come a little bit far away from your body. See how close his hands are in the mm -hmm. downswing? And your club's out in front of you, so you're losing a lot of power. So if you can get your hands to drop down, and that's just starting with your lower body. The, the knees and the hips come first. Your hands will come down that in the same manner as the, the model over here. And then you get a lot of, most of your weight, just a little bit left on that back foot. The ball's gone. There's still a little bit of weight where you can see he's got about 90% on his front foot at impact. And then you get to the, the finish. It could be a little bit longer. So your right hip comes around a little bit more. Your hands will come up a little bit higher. Oh. And your finish will be longer. Right, right. So this is one of the first swings. So as I, I got your knee more flexed, your swing got longer, you got more onto your left side. So your last few swings were a lot better than the, this is one of the original ones. So you know.